Hi. Actually, my name is Gilly, but it's a known mistake here in Canada. And uh, my first poem called Fake Zatar. Zatar is a spice from the Hisop family that grows mostly in Israel. When I bought it in, in Toronto, I found out it's made out of basil. So, fake Zatar. In a city where the Zatar is fake, we are a genuine family, but not complete. We are assembled from fractures of families who think that father is better, conducting a Passover Seder without saying God and believing that next year we will be in Toronto, which has been reconstructed knowing that even if it were completely rebuilt, it will still be a night sleep and a little bit of a day away from Israel. In a city where the Zatar is indeed a fake, but the matzah comes in variety of flavors, we eagerly swallow a fast, a fast food matzah ball in Moroccan chicken soup and pray. The finding peace is not dependent on a native country that we are not really suspended between the 14th floor and the hail that is pouring on the pool at the entrance to our apartment building at the end of April. That we are not really so, so suspended in the intimacy that the strange treasure within, the same one that turns acquaintances into saviors. Spring and something else. You can't trust spring in Toronto. Just when it begins to bloom, spring regrows, and my body too is redrawing from its edges. We are too yielding, Toronto spring and me. We want to storm again like winter from longing, considering flourishing, but it won't happen if we continue to be so careful. And what if one Sabbath night our wound opened and we flooded all the signs in the street, from the KFC in the east to the Koran family restaurant in the west? And what about my heart? It is in between, indeed overflowed in its boundaries, bursting and even more than that, Submarine the neighborhood, submarine the sea, but my body is not moving. <laughs>